performed day and night, resounding throughout the Birmingham, Alabama area, where iron ore, coal, and limestone, the three essential ingredients for steel making, are found richly deposited by nature. Many types of steel are turned out here and processed into products for the home, for industry, and for defense. This air-conditioned passenger cargo liner is an outstanding example of a southern steel product. It was built at a shipyard in Pascagoula, Mississippi, famous as the birthplace of all welded ships. Among the many new industries centering around Atlanta are major automobile manufacturing concerns. Ford cars are assembled at this factory in Hapeville. Chevrolets come off the line in Atlanta. And Buicks, Oldsmobiles, and Pontiacs roll from a gigantic plant at Doraville for delivery to an ever-expanding southeastern market. More than a thousand cars can be turned out each day in this area. Automobiles built of southern steel roll on tires made in southern rubber plants. This huge factory at Goodyear, Alabama, processes coal rubber through a magical network of machines. The rubber is pressed out into smooth, pliable sheets. After further treatment, it is worked into a rough, tubular form. The casing is then bagged and is ready for curing. Tires of every size and design are made here by the millions. Here's an example of ingenuity. Oyster shells are recovered from nearby Mobile Bay and processed at this plant into high quality cement. At another point on the bay shore, bauxite is made into alumina. This plant is the largest of its kind in the world. Ships bring the ore from South America and it is scooped from the hold at a rate of 1,400 tons an hour. Deep deposits of perfect crystalline marble are found in greater abundance in Georgia than in any other spot. The giant blocks yield readily to the miraculous cutting of these mechanical sculptors. Granite, limestone, kaolin, and other valuable minerals also abound throughout this region. Ultramodern is the word for this Gulfport, Mississippi plant, which produces several varieties of nationally known drugstore items. Quality control demands the utmost in cleanliness and efficiency. One for you, one for me. One for you, one for me. Please, girls, you're making me dizzy. Here's an industry that makes a habit of giving folks the bird and in wholesale quantities. Each week in the plants of Gainesville, Georgia alone, chickens by the million are dressed and quick frozen. Meanwhile, farmers of the area raise more broilers annually than any other section of the nation. Few persons realize that this region is so richly endowed with oil land. 11 million acres in Mississippi alone are under oil or gas lease, and the state yields some 50 million barrels of crude oil annually. Gas fields in the area provide convenient and economical fuel, some of which is used by power plants on the Southern Company system. It's a short trip from the oil field to the refinery where the crude stock is converted into other petroleum products. Because of its temperate climate, this section has long been favored as a location for military installations. Pensacola, for instance, is the Annapolis of the air, training headquarters for naval aviators. Balmy breezes blow outside at Eglin Field, Florida, the Air Force proving ground. But oh baby, it's cold inside this all-weather hangar that makes its own arctic temperature. 
With the mercury at 65 below zero, machines, weapons, and soldiers prove they can take it. Many of the techniques and methods that are helping progress in this region are born in laboratories located in the various cities. An outstanding example is the Southern Research Institute at Birmingham, Alabama. Southern businessmen built this well-equipped laboratory, and here they bring their industrial problems to be solved by brilliant and skilled scientists. To keep the hungry sawmills of the region supplied with lumber has become another important responsibility of the Southland. Thickly grown forests still yield a tremendous quantity of soft and hard wood. These big logs at Chapman, Alabama, are expertly handled with modern equipment from the moment they are cut through final processing. The sawyer rides a mechanical bronco, slicing logs into lumber. And believe me, that saw blade is plenty sharp. It cuts like a hot knife through a stick of butter. Lumbering is a heavy business but machines make every task a hurry-up job, not only in processing, but in storing and shipping. Mississippi is also a great producer of lumber, ranking first in the country in the production of hardwood. Surrounding this Florida paper mill are endless acres of slash pine that are ready for harvesting every seven years. Only in the South can soft pine be grown for marketing so quickly. In fact, the newspaper you read this morning may have been printed on paper produced at a tremendous new mill in this area. And with the aid of mammoth machines, wood is also made into other paper products. Each week, this plant at Pensacola turns out 3,000 tons or more of craft paper and converts it into millions of heavy-duty bags. Another huge user of pulpwood from the forests of the area is this Laurel, Mississippi firm. Here the wood is chipped, exploded, refined, and pressed into a new product, strong, durable masonite. Out come the boards ready for use by builders throughout the world. Broad, smooth highways tie cities and rural areas together, making it easy for travelers and commercial vehicles to move throughout this region with speed and comfort. Thousands of tons of freight and express are handled daily by fleets of modern, heavy trucks. Sleek, fast buses operate on frequent schedules over interconnected highway routes. Smooth rolling trains carry passengers and freight with ever-increasing efficiency. Ideally located as a gateway to Latin America, Mobile has become one of the leading ports of the country. Other important ports in Southern Company territory include Brunswick, Panama City, Pensacola, Pascagoula, and Gulfport. Tow boats move through the locks on Alabama's Warrior River, bringing in great quantities of oil, gasoline, coffee, sugar, and other materials, and moving out many types of finished products. And looking up in more ways than one are the aviation operations of this section. Atlanta, for example, has almost 200 flights daily. <laughs> 